Hey guys, about a week ago I went to Stonestown to go check out the Amazon treasure truck and while I was there I went to go take a look at this candy store called Lolly and Pops uh, which I guess they just opened earlier this year I think they said it May and this place is packed wall to wall with virtually every variety of candy I could possibly imagine um, yeah, also treats like caramel corn and such uh, but they have allergen friendly and gluten free stuff um, every honey stick you can possibly think of apparently and and this had a really really good vibe going in the place it's really fun like you would think of a legitimate old school kind of candy shop feel um, I think what they're noted for are these fillable gifting jars where you can buy a container for a reasonable rate and then I think it's for the duration of one year after that you can refill it for about half of that price um, and, and that's by by volume not by weight so the trick gets to be you know you, you fill it up with some chocolates maybe and then some smaller candies and try to fill up every little nook and cranny you can possibly fill up uh, but this place is really cool you know they've got candy from around the world Europe Mexico Asia and I'm telling you they must have every gummy bear on the planet um, all the fancy ones you can see like sour mojito rose champagne um, all the basic ones like cherry I believe they even have uh, ones that are themed for the, the Golden State Warriors the San Francisco Giants and also the, the San Francisco 49ers so yeah this place has a lot going on I'm sure kids that go to school nearby are probably here all the time and also I, I guarantee during the holiday season they're probably going to make it filling you know all kinds of stocking stuffers and come out of this place for sure. Um, they even have a section of classic candies, you know, things that maybe you haven't seen since you were growing up, like Oh Henry or Pop Rocks. And, you can see there they got some giant gummies. Um, I, and the staff was really, really cool and friendly. I liked them quite a bit. They're really nice, um, really pleasant. They also have a rewards program here where, sort of like a credit card rewards plan, where every dollar you spend, you get a point. Um, and then you get online and you can redeem those points for things. So I think I actually ended up spending about $35 that day when I was there. And I think for 26 points, I can go back and get a signature candy bar. Uh, so that's kind of cool. It gives you incentive to go back and get a little more value for your dollar. Uh, you can see all the classic candies here. Um, some of my favorites here. I love sour candy. Um, I, I never knew Warheads can come in a container that size, actually. Uh, but yeah, the, this candy store, I, I definitely... I mean, I, I think it's a good spot. I think it's fun. Not somewhere you want to go all the time, obviously. Uh, but, you know, once in a while, you can go get a variety of things. That's kind of nice. You don't have to get one bag of, of one particular thing. You can actually mix it up a little bit. You can see all the Asian candy. You know, I didn't see any white rabbit when I was here. Uh, and that's a candy that I always had growing up. I went to school near Chinatown, and we always had white rabbit. Um, but maybe I just didn't see it. And then you got your celebration stuff here, probably for New Year's or for a new baby, baby being born or birthday or whatnot. A little bit of mochi ice cream, all the sugary flavored sodas. So, yeah, this place is cool. I definitely go check it out again.